number of lone pairs around the central atom and the molecular geometry of xenon tetrafluoride. Now first we're going to want to identify our central atom, and that's going to be xenon. Next we want to distribute our four fluorides. So, because they want to be as far away from one another, that's how you draw the Lewis structure. Now in order to follow the octet rule, fluoride is going to want eight electrons around itself. So now we need to add in all the lone pairs. And if you count that, you have a total of 32 electrons right here. That's how many you have right there. However, xenon tetrafluoride has 36 electrons. And this can be found because xenon equals 8 electrons. And then fluoride is equal 7, but we have 4 of them. When you add that up, you get 36 electrons. Now, we need to add 4 more electrons. And where are we going to put them? We're going to put them around the central atom. We put 2 here and 2 here. So now we have our 36 electrons. So that means that we have a total of 2 lone pairs around the central atom. And then because of this Lewis structure right here, the molecular geometry is square planar. And that's how you solve number 353. Three.